start just adding my voice here a bit. As you can see, the roads around these are just absolutely flooded. Obviously, we had a great big downpour of rain and me being an idiot thinking, oh, it's nice and dry today. It was not. As you can see, I'm going through uh, some really shallow puddles. Like These are nothing really, but I do like to get out of the way of the deep end as much as possible, so I highly recommend that you do that. I mean, if there's no one on the opposite side of the roads, just use the other side if it's not as deep there. It's just for your own safety. It's like you just don't know if there's a pothole in the deep end. And as you can see with the, the low sun hitting that water, it's just going to blind you. So take it easy, take it slow and have fun, really. But I don't really miss you, baby. It's just keeping your nerve, really. I mean, where my bike is so low, I've got to be very careful because of my exhaust. If I get water in that, that's it, game over. And the, well, the flood at the bridge up at Rome's Castle, that just looked far too deep. So I literally turned around and was like, nope, the hell out of there. So just bear in mind the position your bike is and how far off the floor it is, how far away the exhaust is from the floor as well including your engine see here i'm scoping it out it don't look too bad on the opposite side so i am literally going through at a snail's pace keeping the engine revs high and just taking it easy thankfully there were no potholes now here i'm scoping it out and there's a little bit of wind and as you can see it's sending ripples all the way up so it's letting me know how far it goes it wasn't so deep, this was only like near enough an inch of water, as I can see. And so I just thought, ah, this is okay, I'm going to continue ahead and just keep going. So there I thought, that's over with, that one's done, the rest should be fine, I'm enjoying the view. Just look at that view, it's absolutely lovely on a nice sunny day like this, even in winter. But put it this way, I'm very glad I wore my waterproof trousers because you're just about to find out why. The floods in the road down this road gets absolutely horrendous. As you can see, I'm going down in second gear, I'm doing about 2025, 20, and it's literally bang right here. I scared the shit out of myself and I'm literally going, whoa, shit. And I slow it down, keep the revs high and I just keep going. The power of affirmation got me through that. So again, guys, when you're doing this, low gear, high revs, keep your nerve. You're so fine, I'm so lame. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart is Hello brothers and sisters, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, that turn on the notification bell. So he's now when I post an upload. And I've just come through all of that, as you just see. Jesus Christ, look at this. It's completely flooded, but it's, it's really pretty. It's a beautiful day, but I just did not count for the fact that this is happening. Now, as you've just seen in the footage, I've just come through all of that shite. Got cars coming through right now. Absolutely mental. I can't believe I survived it. <laughs> so, keep enjoying the footage. <laughs> I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. A first time. A first day. You're so fine. I'm so late. You sip wine. I drink straight. Don't wait. So here was I, thinking everything was fine, all good, and then suddenly I come across this massive, oh, <laughs> this massive puddle. And when you see cyclists, thinking, nope, it's just not worth it. So I turned my butt around and thought, why not go back the way I came? 
it's literally I was sandwiched at this point so I had to go back through this again and I thought why not show you guys just by being well holding your nerve telling yourself you can do it everything's okay you've done it once you can do it again so literally at this point I was just saying to myself keep going keep going keep going keep going and the dog walker even laughed at me at one point which you're about to see but honestly this was nerve-wracking for me and I'm probably gonna get one of my friends probably Ben else laughing at me and how ridiculous I'm being but here it was just I've got cars on coming I'm not chancing going past them in this and having that water thrown at me so I was literally like noping the hell out of this but it was so worth the experience so here we go again going down the deepest bit just taking it easy high revs low gear like you do in a car with any of your car drivers and just holding your nerve and try not to shit yourself on the way through but look at that oh my god <laughs> but to be honest, honest, be honest with you it was quite an achievement for me because usually I will not drive through really bloody conditions like this my nerve will just get the better of me but I thought you know what I'm here I've done it once I can do it again it's definitely worth getting the experience on and I'm proud to say that I get to share it with you guys and I hope you get some useful tips out of this especially if you're new riders because there's nothing worse than being on your way home from work there's been a huge downpour and the road is absolutely flooded and you just happen to hold your nerve doing this but you can do it it's just having that power of affirmation After that I had to pull over because my nerves were literally shot and my emotions were over the place and it was also a good way to test my brakes to make sure that I could slow down easily without skidding and anything like that. So here I just she chilled out for a bit, relaxed and because <laughs> you can see I survived. <laughs> but honestly that was an achievement on its own. So oh if you ever get a chance to do the skies and you're, com you're confident enough, it is worth giving it a go to get used to. But here, as you can see, I'm just about to test my brakes to make sure they're working okay and that there's nothing wrong. And then let the 4x4 go past. Sort of cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help. So don't worry, I won't teach anyone to suck, suck eggs. But if you are do it, going through very slippery, wet roads, it's always good to test your brakes afterwards to make sure they're okay and they're working fine. Because if you ever come across a time when you might need them after the event and they don't work, you could potentially put yourself in danger. So always test those brakes after going through uh, flooded roads. Live it up on the attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go Live it up, cash in the bag See you impact, baby I'm bad Enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.